Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the campus of Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And as you can see, it's submerged underwater. And this is one of many areas across different counties in the state of New Jersey that got flooded badly from Ida. And the death toll is going up. The last time I looked, it was at 17, and I'm sure it's going to be going up each day. So this is NewJersey.com, September 2nd, 2021. Ida's path of destruction in New Jersey, rising death toll, epic flooding, fierce tornado damages, and homes destroyed. Roadways turned into rivers, down trees. I was sitting and watching the rescues yesterday. Man, it is bad. It is bad. So they're saying at least uh, three tornadoes. Now, I read another article, and they're estimating it could have been 11 altogether. I mean, that's crazy to think like, to think that. And one ripped through a southern New Jersey town, destroying 20 houses. So this is probably the fiercest tropical storm to hit the state of New Jersey and New York in years, many years, probably well over a decade. Tropical storm Ida delivered a knockout punch wreaking havoc across the state as it took lives, flooded downtowns and caused untold millions of dollars in damage. At least 23 in New Jersey died from the storm, including four who died in an apartment complex in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Governor Phil Murphy said at late Thursday afternoon briefing on the storm, others could be missing. The majority of the dead were people who were caught in their cars in the rising floodwaters, Murphy said. Ida left a few areas in New Jersey unscathed, unscathed. and uh, with the destruction spanning the state from Passaic County north to Gloucester County down south. While the storm had been predicted to have a massive impact, Governor Murphy declared a state of emergency in all New Jersey 21 counties the destruction at first look Thursday morning was far greater than many had feared. There's a lot of hurt in New Jersey, Murphy said earlier on Thursday morning, and he pledged to use all resources available to help residents deal with the widespread damage. We're pulling all levers. It's going to be a long road, he said as he implored people to stay off the roads. Ida con uh, confirmed death toll at 515 Thursday, surpassed the state losses from Hurricane Floyd and Irene. The numbers may still rise as rescue and recovery crews continue their searches. 
in 2011, nine people in New Jersey died from Hurricane Irene. And I remember that hurricane from uh, drowning in raging floodwaters. While trapped inside their cars, six people drowned in New Jersey from Hurricane Floyd of 1999, including two deaths in Somerset and Bergen counties, one each in Passaic and Salem counties. At least 40 people from New Jersey died during the storm uh, Hurricane Sandy in 2012. The worst flooding from Ida may be yet to come. As of midday Thursday, some rivers had not reached their peak stage. So they are still rising. Mm -mm -mm. Passaic River in Pine Brook and Little Falls, the Raritan River and Bound Brook. So they're saying that... Um, the Delaware River at Easton and Phillipsburg, Phillipsburg are forecast to crest. All right. So the airport in Newark, New Jersey, Newark International Airport was shut down Wednesday night. Nearly 400 flights canceled. Flooding closed part of one terminal and some roads remain closed. Teterboro airport, which is a small airport in New Jersey, compared to something like Newark, Teterboro, that one is small. Um, New Jersey Transit Rail is still suspended, except for the Atlantic City Rail Line. While buses are running on localized delays and they encounter uh, uh, roads that are closed by the flood and down trees. 60,000 remain without power. So it's going to be a long process, y'all. You know, look, these disasters are kicking America's behind. You know, it, it just seems like there's disasters everywhere. You got the fires, you have the hurricanes, and now you got the remnant from a hurricane that did massive damage, especially between New York and New Jersey. And this during a time when the country is struggling to get their economy back, these are setbacks. These are big setbacks that will hurt for years to come. You know, I mean, you look at this, the road, you can't even see the road. It's completely underwater that's in front of the college. And wow. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, they are planning on opening schools for K through 12 next week. You know, so we shall see what happens. I still say I don't believe they're going to make it past a week. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.